hope you are doing good welcome to a new video so in this video we're going to talk about cyber security and data science what are the differences and i'm not going to talk about what is best because it completely depend on each and every individual's perspective but i'm going to walk you through what is cyber security and what is data science and give you some ideas of how the career options will be what kind of job you will be doing after completing these courses and the difficulty of these courses so let's get into the video so i did a masters in cyber security and i'm working in a data science department so i believe that i can give you in depth knowledge of the career options in cyber security and both in data science before going into that if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of contents then please subscribe and be a family and if you like this video please consider blow out that like button and share it to your friends if they are going to pursue masters in cyber security or data science i don't want to blabber anymore let's get into it What is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity is all about protecting the data, protecting the services that we use, protecting the technology, protecting the devices that we use, and minimizing the risk of intrusion. So now, if you go and check in Google, you will get a lot of definition for what is cybersecurity. But what I'm going to tell you is, in a nutshell, cybersecurity is all about protecting your system from any kind of intrusions and causing a lot of damage or causing a lot of risk to your company or to your organization or to you by yourself from intrusions. And on the other hand, data science is something like getting the data. I mean, acquisition of data, playing around with data doing whatever you can with data. It includes analyzing the data, getting the reports, visualizing the data, and much more. So data science and cybersecurity are actually in different contexts. Like it's so different from each other. In cybersecurity, you learn how to protect the data. In data science, you learn all about playing around with data. So let's talk about the difficulty in learning these courses. So for example, in UK, what will be the difficulty to learn cyber security for masters and also data science for masters? So the information about data science and difficulty of learning data science as a master is passive because one of my friend who told me about it and for cyber security, I know about everything because I did cyber security and I know how hard it is. So from that aspect, I would say the difficulty level will be some 3.5 to 4 out of 5. And for data science, it will be around 3 to 3.5 because from the opinion of my friend said and what I have learned in cybersecurity, I believe that cybersecurity is quite a little bit more difficult to learn as a master course. So I joined for masters in cybersecurity in 2021 Jan and after five months, I got a job offer from Sky, which is entirely different from cybersecurity which is basically from a data science and software development department. And I did my data analyst role, which, which was kind of an internship for like uh, one and a half years, roughly. Now I know what's a data science field looks like as a career. And obviously, what are the jobs that I will be doing in the cybersecurity field as well? So let's talk about what will be the different roles that you will get after completing data science or cybersecurity. the cyber security job role. Number one is chief information security officer. So a chief information security officer is a senior level officer who ensures the complete safety of information in an organization. So since this is not an entry level job, no one after finishing their cyber security degree can right away go to roles like this. So this role requires years and years of experience in cyber security field. The next one is security architect. A security architect is responsible for designing robust security structures that are used to prevent malware attacks. So they perform vulnerability tests and also provide technical assistance to the other security team members. Speaking of which, what are the skills do we need in order to become a security architect? Number one, strong IT experience, experience in the risk management sector and network hardware configuration skills, knowledge of security protocols and excellent knowledge in cryptography, analytical and problem solving skills, strong communication and presentation skills. So I would say this is also not an entry level job. This is also something that you can look forward after joining in an entry level job. 
ओके द थर्ड वन इज अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंजीनियर वॉट इज द जॉब रोल ऑफ अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंजीनियर दिस इज सम वेयर यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एन एंट्री लेवल एज वेल बिकॉज दे हैव ग्रेजुएट साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंजीनियर रोल्स सो वॉट यू विल बी डूइंग द साइबर सिक्योरिटी इंजीनियर इज द वन हु इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर टेकिंग अडिक्वेट एक्शन वेन अ साइबर सिक्योरिटी अटैक अकर्स एंड यू विल डू एनी थिंग इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट द साइबर सिक्योरिटी अटैक्स यू विल बी स्टडिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पॉलिसीज इन साइबर सिक्योरिटी सो दिस इज द प्लेस यू कैन यूज ऑल ऑफ दैट स्पीक इन ऑफ वेच वट स्किल्स डू यू नीड यू शुड हैव गुड नेटवर्किंग स्किल्स एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर एंड मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स knowledge of c c++ is required but i would say more than that you should focus into python and java etc and also shell scripting is so important in cyber security the next job role is malware analyst in order to be a malware analyst you need to have these skills so sir one must know windows linux and unix operating systems sound of good knowledge of c and c++ and strong communication and presentation skills oh my god now we are getting into it penetration tester a penetration tester is also commonly known as an ethical hacker so this is something when you hear about cyber security the first job that comes in your mind will be this one because you will be hacking not to intrude any system but you will be hacking in such a way that you are getting into a system and replicating the way to find out vulnerabilities and if there are any vulnerabilities you are notifying the respective persons so that they can take counter measures in order to prevent the cyber attacks so that is why pen testing is so important in cyber security and this is also an entry level job so let's talk about the skills that you need good networking skills knowledge of linux unix operating systems c c++ etc python java perl they are all vital strong reporting problem solving and coding skills is a non negotiable for this job what else are there when we have computer forensic analyst computer forensic analyst to work on cyber attack cases to gather digital evidence and to retrieve data which is more into the forensic department application security engineer application security engineer is one of those who create implements and maintains the security of a company's applications now we have cloud specialist because of the increased reliance on the cloud cloud security specialist are in high demand and will remain so in the future so the role of a cloud security specialist is to protect the data the network also there are database administrator incident manager etc so apart from these roles uh, there are roles like it security analyst cyber security consultant programmer analyst and cyber security systems engineer so these are roles that are closely related to cyber security but includes not much of a coding now we talk about the roles in data science number 1 data analyst this is one of the most heard role in data science so data analysts are responsible for a variety of task including visualization and processing of massive amount of data they also have to perform queries on databases from time to time one of the most important skills of a data analyst is optimization now we go to the second one which is data engineers data engineers build and test scalable big data ecosystems for businesses so that the data scientists they can run the algorithms on data systems data engineers also update existing systems with newer or upgraded versions of the current technologies to improve the efficiency of the database now the third one is data administrator you know the irony is that all these roles feels like they are closely related and they are not much different but in actual all these roles that i've just mentioned is varied a lot from each other they are responsible for proper functioning of all the databases of an enterprises and grant or revoke its services to the employees they are also responsible for database backups recoveries etc and now we have machine learning the killer so machine learning engineers are in high demand today however the job profiles comes with the challenges apart from having in depth knowledge some of the most powerful technologies such as sql rest apis etc 
Machine learning engineers are also expected to perform testing. So here is where you will be closely related to the field of AI. I mean artificial intelligence and robotics because you will be looking for patterns k-means clustering and cluster algorithms etc which is closely related to ai now data scientists data scientists have to understand the challenges of business and offer the best solution using the data analysis and data processing so let's talk about the skills that you need good networking skills knowledge of linux unix operating systems C, C++, etc., Python, Java, Perl, they are all vital. And black box testing, strong reporting and coding skills is a non-negotiable for this job. So another most heard option in data science as a career option is business analyst. The role of business analyst is slightly different from the other roles, while they do have a good understanding of how data-oriented technologies work and how to handle large volume of data, they also separate high-value data from low-value data. In other means, they identify how the big data can be linked to actionable business insights for business growth. So I'm not here to say what is best. It is your call to find out what is best for you. But the thing is like, for cybersecurity or data science, you need to adapt new technologies and you need to find out what skills you can develop by practicing it again and again. So the only thing that I want to say completely is don't quit. If you want to take cybersecurity and if you want to check how it goes, then definitely go for it. So cybersecurity and data science role needs continuous skill development. So if you want to add more skills in your cybersecurity and data science courses, then you must do courses outside of it, like CEH for cybersecurity. And you know, if cybersecurity is coupled with Cisco, then you can do CCNA and courses like that. Also for data science, it is better you do some courses in data analytics and Python, visualization, Power BI, etc. So I would say data science is more of a creative thinking kind of a field. You're playing around with data, you're expressing your own ideas and you're portraying it well so that others can understand the data. If you're someone who is so afraid of charts and data and visualization, pie charts, etc., then I don't think data science is kind of a role for you. But if you are someone who loves the color, I'm kind of a person that I love colors. So if you're someone who loves colors in your workplace, you want to play around with data, think out of the box, meeting different people, expressing your ideas. If you are someone who loves a lot of creative work, then I believe data science is for you. So the question is, if you want to pursue your career in data science, you should be putting enough effort to develop your soft skills as well because communication is that important when it comes to data science. You need to present the data, you need to play around with data, you need to make another person understand what you are currently doing. In simple words, you should be able to express your ideas in front of a group. In cybersecurity, presentation and communication skill is important, but if you have a good technical background, your logical thinking and your technical work can do 80% of the work. As I said, both the roles definitely need coding exposure and to have a good understanding of how most of the IT technologies work. So in cybersecurity, I believe that as a career aspect, it is highly important that you understand coding and how to code. Also, you should be a sincere student if you want to pursue a career in cybersecurity. It is not an easy course to do and it is not that tough course to do as well. So whatever the causes, let it be cybersecurity or data science, you need to adapt to the technologies and you need to be in a continuous learning platform. You should not quit when you feel like this is getting so tough. There is a way for everything to understand. Whenever you feel like you are stuck in some portion, always refer the videos, always refer textbooks. So whatever the career path you choose, don't regret about it because whatever you chose, that is for your best. Make your choices wisely before selecting a particular course and wherever you are, be a loyal, good student. So that's all about this video. If you have got any questions or any confusion, please comment in the comment section and you can also contact me on Insta. Whenever you send me a message on Insta, don't just say hi and then wait for my reply. You can just type in whatever the questions that you have. So that is the end of the video. Keep learning, be in a continuous learning platform 
and don't quit ever in your life. Bye.